OpenAI has partnered with Scale AI to allow companies to fine tune GPT 3.5. So today on the podcast, we're going to be diving into where exactly we see this partnership going, why we think that they decided to partner instead of, you know, perhaps uh, deciding to do this in house or themselves. And we are going to talk about where we think this is going to play out in the broader AI landscape. So let's jump into it. Welcome to the AI Chat Podcast. I'm your host, Jaden Schaefer. Make sure that you go to AIbox.ai, link in the show notes, to join the waitlist for our new AI platform. We're going to be launching an incredible platform that allows you to build anything you want with workflows um, in AI. So you're able to chain together chat GPT and image generators and audio generators to make really powerful apps for your organization or you can host them on our marketplace and actually generate royalties from them. So make sure to go to AIbox.ai and join the waitlist. In addition, if you like the podcast, if you could do me a massive favor and please leave us a review on Apple or Spotify or wherever you listen to your podcast. This helps me be able to get better guests on here as they check the reviews to see how you guys are liking it. So if you could please do that, I would really, really appreciate it. Have you ever wanted to start your own podcast? I record and publish podcasts on a platform called Spotify for Podcasters, and I absolutely love it. Essentially, you can upload from your phone or computer, and it distributes to every platform that plays podcasts. They support video podcasts, and you can make money on the platform with ads or even podcast subscriptions, something that has made my life so much easier as a podcaster. So if you're in interested, I highly recommend you give it a try. You can download the Spotify for podcast app or go to spotify.com slash podcasters to get started on your podcast today. OpenAI, of course, is the tech firm behind the popular chatbot ChatGPT, um, but it is essentially extending its partnership horizons to third-party vendors to simplify the fine-tuning of its AI models for enterprise-level developers. This is important for a number of reasons. Number one, um, I think this really just goes to show that OpenAI is not trying to completely dominate the AI market all alone, right? They are making partnerships. They are working with third parties um, to, you know, perhaps come in where they have shortcomings. I think what's interesting here is, you know, ChatGPT launched back um, at the beginning of or, the, or, you know, the end of last year. And they've known that fine tuning of these models was a very hot topic. They have a ton of money from uh, Microsoft and they probably could have tried to spin up some sort of company or solution to this problem. But I think what's really interesting here is they've decided and they've opted to kind of focus more on their core competencies. I mean, really creating GPT-4 and then GPT-5 and that kind of core thing to the point where I think they've like sort of neglected their image generating or like it, a few people know this, but OpenAI actually has like an audio or like a music generating AI model that they created uh, quite a while back that is essentially like no one really updated it and just, nothing's really happening with it. Um, they have Dolly 2 that generates images, which in my opinion is sorely lacking compared to competitors um, like Stabil or, you know, Stable Diffusion and a lot of other ones. Midjourney obviously is crushing it in this department, building on top of a Stable Diffusion uh, from Stability AI. So I think, you know, really OpenAI I think is kind of buckling down and focusing on ChatGPT as like the big focus here. And they're okay to, to work with other people, which I think is really uh, a good sign for the industry. So Specifically, the company announced a partnership with Scale AI, which is a San Francisco based startup specializing in data labeling. So, the collaboration aims to blend the fine tuning functionalities of Scale AI's data engine with OpenAI's GPT 3.5 text generating model. So, for those that are keeping track, GPT 3.5 is the immediate predecessor to OpenAI's you know, flagship GPT-4 model that GPT-4 is obviously the best. It's what everyone uses now if you have premium. Um, previous to that, you had 3.5. But here's the, the difference, right? Um, the reason that the, a lot of these integrations are going into the 3.5 is because 3.5 has 3.5 Turbo, which is a super, super fast model. So while it's slightly worse, arguably, than GPT-4, um, it's way faster. And so by fine-tuning, essentially, you're able to get the quality of GPT-4 um, but at the speed of GPT 3.5, which is some really big um, improvements that people are really interested in. So fine-tuning the AI model essentially means adapting its functionalities to accomplish specific tasks um, effectively. So for instance, a business can refine a model to align with their unique brand voice and tone or to respond to customer inquiries in a specific language, right? Telling it that it always responds in German or French. Um, and then clients of scale will also be able to leverage its data engine to prepare and, you know, quote unquote, enhance their data. So 
they can then use this customized data to fine tune OpenAI's GPT 3.5 model, even adding features that allow the model to cite or reference the proprietary data in its generated responses. This is really, really important, right? Like, let's say they fine tune it um, to have a ton of their their company's data to help their customer service reps, right? They're, like they want this thing to be specifically a fine tuned model that is answering all the questions people might have about their set customer service. So in that data, they can have references to their terms of service and a bunch of other things. And when uh, the model spits out a response, if it's been fine tuned, it's going to say, you know, like this is our policy regarding this as per, you know, our terms of conditions. And then they can cite exactly where someone can go and actually find that. So I think that's going to be really, really useful. Um, it's also going to help combat like hallucination because you could say, yeah, if it says anything, you can say, okay, can you cite where that like actually came from? Like, are you making this up? Or is there a specific citation I can click on that's going to bring me to the exact, you know, location of the information I'm, I'm searching for? So I think to uh, really ensure high quality output, scale promises that the fine-tuned GPT 3.5 models are going to be under, they're essentially going to undergo a review by human experts. So these assessments will ensure that the models not only meet, but exceed performance and safety standards. Scale AI's CEO, Alexander Wang, expressed a lot of enthusiasm about this collaboration in an email interview that he recently did. He said, quote, Scale is OpenAI's preferred fine-tuning partner to deploy the most performative models, and we look forward to expanding our relationship. OpenAI has chosen to partner with Scale because of our expertise and proven track record of delivering high-quality models with real business impact for our customers. So, I think this partnership announcement comes kind of on the heels of OpenAI's revelation that it's going to be allowing customers to fine tune a lighter version of GPT 3.5. Uh, so that's GPT 3.5 Turbo, right? The super fast version and using its fine tuning API. So while OpenAI has hinted at developing an in-house tuning tool, it remains unclear whether this forthcoming tool is going to complement Scale AI's platform or serve as a different function. Um, I feel like it's going to complement and they're going to keep scale AI around. Otherwise, I'm not sure why they, you know, come spin up a big partnership if it's going to become redundant very soon. Um, I guess that will be a, a good indicator of what type of uh, company opening AI is, how cutthroat they are. But in any case, Brad Lightcap, he's a CE or a COO of OpenAI. He kind of emphasized the value of the scale AI partnership for their customers. He said, quote, we want to serve customers wherever they are. We're excited to work with great partners like Scale that help us serve the need for our customers as they put AI to work in their organization. So according to Lightcap, the new alliance is not only going to allow companies to fine tune open AI models as they have before, but also enable them to take advantage of Scale's data expertise and also enterprise AI capabilities. So as for the future, I think Lightcap remained kind of coy about whether OpenAI plans to extend fine-tuning capabilities to other models like GPT-4, um, which is expected to, you know, gain those kind of functionalities this fall. I, I think actually specifically, even if he's being coy and like not responding to that, um, Sam Altman tweeted and said that uh, coming this fall, the GPT-4 is going to get fine-tuning. So I think this partnership either way signifies a really important step in evolving the fine-tuning landscape for AI. Um, aiming to streamline the process for enterprise and really ensuring that they custom that um, they can customize AI models more efficiently and also making sure that these are more effective. This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Forget the frustration of picking commerce platforms when you switch your business to Shopify, the global commerce platform that supercharges your selling wherever you sell. With Shopify, you'll harness the same intuitive features, trusted apps, and powerful analytics used by the world's leading brands. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash tech, all lowercase. That's shopify.com slash tech. Thank you for listening to the AI Chat Podcast. If you enjoyed the podcast, I'd appreciate it if you rate me wherever you listen to podcasts. And if you're looking for an innovative group of AI enthusiasts, make sure you check out our Discord channel and also our Facebook community. It's obviously a lot more interactive than a podcast where we can actually share software tools, prompts that we're using in everyday AI. I'll leave a link for those in the description below.